and I have a proclamation from the mayor. Now, therefore, I, Bill de Blasio, mayor of the city of New York, which is not me, but close enough, uh, do hereby proclaim Thursday, November 3rd, in the city of New York as Caribbean American Chamber of Commerce and Industry Day. So congratulations, Dr. Hastic. It is a time to celebrate 31 years of existence. He's received many honors, and for every occasion, Dr. Roy Hastic has savored the moment and reminded his audience that the Caribbean Chamber of Commerce and Industry is here in the service of the community. Helping the small business community, helping them to survive and thrive, helping them to start, manage, and operate a business. I um, recognize some are doing extremely well, but some are just getting themselves ready to access the resources that are available for them. It started in central Brooklyn, in the heart of the Caribbean American community. Small business is the lifeblood here. Entrepreneurship has become a tradition. Thanks to the Chamber of Commerce, a countless number of businesses are starting, growing, and expanding. Roy Hastick has guided the course all these decades. A former business owner who knows the ways, he gave himself to the service of empowering the community one business at a time with a range of programs and assistance. This model is a flagship of these efforts. It will be an ambitious new complex that will stand as a linchpin of economic development in the district. We are looking at building a facility. We've been able to cultivate that type of partnership with small business owners, with elected officials and community leaders to one, select a site, two, to make sure that we have the program in the, the facility, so it is sustainable. The center will update and expand the Flatbush Caton Market, its commercial and social institution where shop owners have tended to customers for 16 years. It is one major accomplishment. The Flatbush Caton Market, which will be transformed, and I would not disclose um, what it's going to be like, and it will be historic. For the first time, we'll have such type of facility.